So perhaps you just bought a camera or you've had a camera for a little while and you got the creative juices going but you can't quite figure out the direction that you want to take with the videos that you're creating. Today we're going to go over five tips to help you create more interesting, more appealing and unique videos to post or to share with anyone that you prefer. Tip number one when it comes to improving your videos is to have a story. A lot of times when I first started making videos, especially when I got into like vlogging and stuff, I had no direction or sense of where I wanted to go with my videos. So I would just start recording, throw a little bit of B-roll in there, talk a little bit, and it ended up being really boring, especially for myself when I would rewatch the video. I'm like, I would never watch this. So one of the things that you can do to improve your videos is create a story. Find a way to connect with your viewers because when you do that, you're going to be able to keep them captivated and motivated to keep watching. We just kind of inadvertently stumbled upon a food festival. It, I promise you it was not on purpose, but no complaints. You're going to eat something? I'm probably going to eat like two of everything, so yeah, maybe a little. Tip number two is shot diversity. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can tackle this. A lot of people like to switch up their filmmaking with different cameras, get a little drone in there. But even if you don't have a drone or a different camera, there are a couple of different things that you can try. The first is trying a new angle. You can maybe get something from a lower angle or a higher angle, you know, move your camera around a little bit, get some shot diversity in there. The second thing that you can do is if you have another lens, perhaps, Try switching lenses. You can switch to a 35, a 50. There's all kinds of different things that you can do. But the biggest thing is try and get some diverse shots in there because if you have the same shot, same location, it's gonna get boring after a little while. So switch it up and see what you can come up with. The third tip that I have for you guys is to pay attention to your music. Pretty much all of my videos that I put here on YouTube, I get my music from Epidemic Sound. And I know that sometimes it can be a little bit cliche because a lot of creators out there use Epidemic Sound and they use things, categories, genres like pop and house and things of that nature. But if you check out Epidemic Sound, there's actually a lot of resources that you can use. They have a huge extensive library of different songs that you can use. One of my favorite genres and categories lately has been film because I'm trying to put a little bit more of a cinematic touch on my videos. I love to use this category to find pretty much the perfect music to, to make the perfect sentiment. And although music is such a grand aspect of your videos, it's really important to dial down and figure out what type of mood you want to portray when it comes to your videos. If you're in a sad scene, it kind of helps to use sad, kind of gloomy music. You'll find this in Hollywood a lot. If you'd like to try a 30-day subscription of Epidemic Sound for free, I'll put the link in the bio, but it's really important to focus on music because it can make or break your videos. Kevin, when you use music in your videos, where do you get it from? Epidemic Sound. Tip number four is one that is overlooked way too often, and it's one that I overlooked myself, but it's sound effects. When you're watching a movie, pay attention to pretty much every little scene and every little detail that they put into the punching, hey. the walking, the swimming, whatever the case may be, they're always throwing sound effects to make their movie better. 
and that's one thing that you can do as well to improve the quality and enhance the experience that the viewer has when they're watching your video. Sound effects are key. If you were to basically take a scene and film something and there were no sound effects, there's not gonna be really that, that connection that the viewer's gonna feel like they're there. And that's exactly what sound effects do. They give the viewer the opportunity to put themselves into the video as if they're there. So one thing that you can do is look up free sound effects libraries. You can go to Epidemic Sound, they have sound effects as well. And you can just basically search through all of these libraries and get effects that are relevant to the videos that you're filming. What you doing there, buddy? Time lapses. A little bit of shot diversity? <laughs> you can call it shot diversity. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, the last tip gets a little bit complicated but can offer you some huge creative freedom and abilities when it comes to editing your videos. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to the office so that I can kind of show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so the fifth and final tip to improving your videos is gonna be finish your videos. This is a joke, but I'm actually really serious. Like everything you've seen up to this point was recorded about seven weeks ago, hence the change in wardrobe, the difference in beard length, and all that stuff. Seriously, you have to finish your videos. But the real tip is gonna be color correction. Color correction is an amazing tool that you can use to change the sentiment, the emotion, and the feeling that your viewers get when they're watching your videos. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna dive into my iPad I'm gonna load up Adobe Premiere Rush and I'm gonna show you exactly how color correction can change the way your viewer sees your video. The reason I'm using Adobe Premiere Rush and not Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro is because I really want it to be known how easy it is to do something like this even with basic software. Pretty much every video editor out there has the ability to do some type of basic color correction. So I'm gonna use Adobe Premiere Rush to show you exactly how this is done and how it can change the way a video is portrayed. So here in Adobe Premiere Rush, we have one clip loaded here that I downloaded. It's stock footage from Storyblocks. But I think it's gonna be really beneficial to show you guys how when it comes to just scenery, maybe not uh, facial expressions and things like that, but just, bleh, just scenery, you can really change the look and feel of your videos. So what the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this clip so that we have two separate versions. And I'm gonna start on the first one. I'm gonna load up the color corrector here. I'm gonna go to edit because I don't want the presets. The first thing I'm gonna do is I really wanna portray kind of like a sad, moody scene. So I'm gonna take the temperature slider here and bring it all the way down towards the left. I'm gonna take the tent and bring it a little bit towards the green. I'm gonna desaturate it slightly and I'm gonna bring the shadows down to give it kind of that dark feeling. Actually, that might be a little bit too green, so we'll ease up off there and bring the temperature back down to the blue. So right off the bat, you can see that this has a completely different look and feel. When I press play, you actually can't really tell whether or not these people are happy or sad, especially because of the facial expressions, and that's exactly why I chose this video. If someone was smiling, it'd be kind of hard to pull this off. But it even like comes down to like time of day. Like this looks more like it could be morning or dusk. Whereas something that I'm gonna show you in a couple of seconds might look a little bit different, might look like a different time of day. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the second clip here and you can already see from the base, like the way it came, it looks completely different. But I'm gonna actually warm this temperature slider up a little bit. I'm gonna take the tent and maybe just bring it slightly over to the purples increase the saturation and the vibrance ever so slightly, increase the contrast, bring up the highlights, bring down the shadows very, actually I'm gonna lift the shadows just a little bit. And when we play this back, you can actually see this has a completely look, like a different look and feel. As a matter of fact, it almost looks like this was taken on a mid hot summer day. So in contrast, you can actually see the difference between these two clips just from color correction and that's my point 
Color correction is an amazing tool that you can use to change the way your viewers see your video. That wraps up this video. Those are five tips that you can use to instantly improve your video clips. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I was able to bring some type of value or you learned something new, please give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you guys along for my journey. If you don't follow me on Instagram, my username is at the Spencer Ryan. One thing that you guys actually don't know because I haven't posted in a while is I actually started my Instagram over. You can find my old Instagram at Man Bun YouTuber. Yes, that's really the name that I chose to just throw my old Instagram into the abyss. But my new Instagram is at the Spencer Ryan. And I really wanted to focus on bringing authenticity and bringing value and really having an authentic connection with my followers. So you can go follow me over there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, well, show it. <laughs> Give me a like, subscribe to my channel, do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.